Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. The solution was simpler than I expected. Um, this chunk of meat isn't going to be a, any like weird experimentation thing. I just this dog wants it. I can just throw the chunk of meat to him, and he'll drop the key that he was chewing on. And then he'll chew on the meat instead because he's hungry. Makes me feel kind of sad, because, like, how many dogs have I been, like, just slaughtering? Like, I have been ripping and tearing through dogs up to this point. And, like, if I could have just thrown, like, a little chunk of meat at them, they probably would have been happy. They probably would have been fine with it. A little sad, you know? There was this era of game design where there were a lot of people making a lot of games. Oh, this way. Um... And a lot of them featured uh, something known uh, medically as sad puppy noise or sad dog noise. Which is just like... Can I knock it in there? Mm-hmm. That's the room I came from. I was in there as well, I think. I even saw this, uh, this thing. Hmm. But yeah, at the very least, the dogs don't make that noise. Which is good. Bare minimum, I would say. Whoa! Was this always open? Damn. That one's frozen. That one, uh, that one didn't go so well. An ominous dark sludge stains the side of this diary page. The text looks like it was written with it. Uh, 240. So this is another week later, maybe? Breaks my heart to see them go. Nithril Hunter henchmen ship samples of my corruption along with my first generation successful experiment. My beautiful golems. Humans, orcs, all the same. Perfected. Yes, I've made them all perfect, all beautiful. And right now, they're on their way to put an end to the scum of hell. After my foolish sisters retreat from the daemons, I shall embrace them. They will be the perfect tool. Another day later. It cannot be! Uh, my children, stupid, stupid, stupid. She chumped from a ledge to her own death. This is how they reward me for dulling the sense of pain? Carelessness. Do they believe they can fly now? Stupid. Well, yeah. Like, pain doesn't have no purpose. Pain has a purpose. It's like, don't do that. If you remove pain, then you remove your body's feedback system. They're angry. No matter how hard I try, they fail to respect their mother. Trail traces of their precursor self. How they struggle. Silly dolls, you have transcended individuality. You're part of the web now. The web, huh? Oh, this opens to here. So if those doors open, are these? No, okay. Huh. Looks great in here, guys. Okay, it's just the camera thing, because there's only sprites. I thought she was like jerking around in there and I was really upset. I was like, oh no, oh God. Please don't contort at me. You're weird and gross. Oh, word. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, looks like a shooting range. Backfire. More potion launchers. Day 244. Two days later, the raw red letters look freshly written. What a delightful guest I have visiting today. The demon blood person. I must prepare her a proper welcome. She is so close, my hair is a greasy mess. Where did I put that comb? The demon blood. What is that? Oh, I want that thing. It looks like a really good gun. Later, perhaps. Okay, the corruption. Okay, so that just loops around. Appears to be not that. Big purple and green vats. Oh, hello. 
you know I found like 10 notes that say that I'm not the traitor, right? Like, I didn't bring them with me, but they're just on some tables. Yep. Put me in a tube. Lith hums. Oh, you're the traitor. I gotcha. Oh, she's gonna make me into a thing. Is it gonna mutate me into a super orc? Because I have unique genetics. I'm a demon. That would make sense if it, if this, like, you know, corruption you're giving to me only strengthens me. Because I have the power of hell. I haven't used it a whole lot. Abhoth says not yet. Ah, she's gonna warp me out. But she also says not yet, so maybe I am gonna get that at some point. Nithril has found me and dampened my strength. Damn shame. Damp shame. <laughs> You're close, but I can't guide you any longer. Okay. Hold on to your breath. Someone is about to redeem herself. Oh, it's the other goblin who thought I was the traitor. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Zura. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want, to, I want to know what was in that syringe that could knock out somebody so huge so quickly. So did she just give me that, like, air? Okay, so only mine went out. Awesome. Door's locked. Nowhere to be seen. Game saved. Crystal key? Word. Damn. What the? Oh, yeah. Of course. There were sprites of dead ones. Why would they make sprites of not an enemy? Can be evasive. Reminds me of Ink, the really cool Batman Beyond villain. She's really creepy. She was cool. Ultimate warrior, this, huh? Perfect life form. No match for my 12 gauge. That was a big boom. Luckily, I'm actually full up on potions. Yep, all of them have been let out. What's this? The Crier Lance? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They mentioned this one as well earlier. They talked about it. They were like, oh yes, the Brave Warriors Crylands. Crylands. I assumed that it was like an ice lance, not that it was like a high explosive. Actually, it's not even that. It's just a really good gun. Are we getting infighting as well? Oh boy. Excuse me. Splattered with foul bile. That's unfortunate. So do they like have an animation appearing? Got the crystal key. Yep. Gotcha. Loud and clear. How do you feel about the stick? Huh? Oh, this goes to a... This, oh, man. Oh, man. This goes to different things, huh?
So this isn't going as well. Let's grab this health potion. I think we can do a little like a uh, biopunk now. Whoa, the health. Is it because I'm running into my own flames? Oh, it might be good to have a um yeah, one of those ready. That animation's pretty sweet. Gotta say. Okay, you, 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 all gotta go. Damn. One moment. Hey, hey we're back. In. Yeah, this works. How about this? Do you guys want some of this? Yeah, I found that the um the launcher, the potions launcher, works real well. It seems to work the best. But yeah, this is like really dangerous. Like I had more than max health. And like, holy shit, they can just fucking schmoove, you know? Hey, fuck you. Save your life, asshole. Yeah, this this thing seems to be the most effective. I want to get a good opportunity to use this fucking Cryer Lance, because that looks cool. I'm only just a little unsure about the pronunciation. Oh, the dog that I fed is helping me. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's right. Get him, Pucha. Yep. Uh, I tried to say Poocher and Pupper at the same time. Pooch Pup. Can't shoot him. Okay. Wow. That's pretty extreme. <laughs> cool. So what is the proper use of this thing? It's 25. It shoots relatively quick. Safe to save again. So this feels like one of the last of the last levels. Although considering that they put in the work to have a boss fight that that other time, we'll probably have a boss fight, right? Seems pretty standard. Careful, poop. Poop. Yeah, see, I want to call him Pooch and Pop. They don't really work out together, though. Sorry to say. I'm dead, and she's escaped. Oh, the pooch is fine. So are they. Wow. Oh my god! It has unique kill animations. Okay, that, that's new.
It looks like it empties my gun. What's my wrong melee weapon? Luck some of those. Oh my god. The violence is hot. We're doing good. Oh yeah, and in that earlier save, Nithriel Battle 1, because there was, like, I'm certain that we're getting a second one. Can I not get this? Oh, I'm fooling. Well, then good. Cool. Awesome. See, I would love for there to be, like, a coding exception of, like, oh, you're full? Well, then we'll just automatically use this potion if you're on low health, because why wouldn't you want to use a potion if you're on low health? He's around here. Oh, gnarly. Axe key. That was a secret, but you could see it. Banger tracks. Certified bangers, in fact. I'll certify it. I'm an expert. Yeah. Okay, so now I guess we backtrack to uh, the other areas that had crystal doors. Crystal key doors. Okay, so we were in here. This is here. Oh, this is new. Right. This goes to this other side. Okay, cool, cool. All awesome. Oh god. That was wasted. I want to see it. Oh yeah, look at the violence. Look at the carnage. So does this use everything? It uses 20. Damn. But it cleans house. So I guess she made those little weird guys, huh? Okay, so that's the area that we were looking at before. This is the office of the chief. The chief, DA space chief. This is the meeting room and then that's the, okay. Cool. Back on the beat. Maybe need some ass kicking in here. Be right with you. Everyone take your seats. You know, it's... Oh, this was a desk. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, it's just like a... a, a greeter. We're in here, I think. Damn. How many are there? Are there just two? Yeah, we were in here. Let's pluck down two of those. All right, so... And this poo is still there. We can go this way, but I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, there's a little something. Cool. Again, hot tracks. A little better than the, the butt rock that we were listening to. Like, no offense, but it kind of sucked. Oh, this is a shortcut door. I didn't want to click on it because I thought it would take me out. Around that corner. 
Just like I want you to. should be fine, right? Well, I guess I got what I wanted with um, another weapon and more enemy variety. I got two there. Yeah, this gun seems to be like my problem solver for them. I broke a window in here. Oh, good. Well, I got to pick those up. Radical. Picture of door. I think these should all be shut up. Yeah. Okay, good. I was really starting to run low on these. And I, it's not like I'm not running low on them anymore, but like, less dire. I can solve a couple more problems. I can, if I have good aim, I'll kill 18 of them. Which is like a lot. Again, that was kind of a lame secret. See, secrets in Doom games are always either the... I mean, this isn't the game, but you know. Boomer shooters are always either, like, the craziest, most out-of-the-way, like, impossible things. Or it's, like, just the lamest thing ever. Aw, oh, man. Let's go. Come on. Just gotta get through this save. There we go. Research and decay is finished. And we got 40% of the secrets, so we got two out of the five, I guess. Crystal Heart. This is like the last level, right? Of the first episode. Because this game was... Uh, Zan thundered her way out of the clinic. The horrible experiments Lith had given life to, only to... And only to... Given life to, only enraged her further. If it hadn't been for Tiati, she would have become an abomination herself by now. As the large crystal gate opened, she wondered about Chieftain Zoda, who seemed to be still alive inside Lith's experiment tank. She was most likely poisoned now. Uh, God, that's awful. Perhaps it was better to leave her behind. But now the warrior had reached the Lancer Temple, and all the thoughts would shift towards the final battle that seemed to draw ever closer. She is finally here. The crystal heart awaits ahead. All right, back. Just wanted to take a break after that last one, because yow. Lot of dead. What happened here? Oh, this dead one of mine. Man. Okay, that's kind of cool. Like, how many dead like cultists and enemies are there and then there's one two dead orcs radical yeah this is the big lancer temple then huh because these are the lances right Elemental ring. For the dead lancer. Or maybe just an orc. She doesn't have a lance. This is a boss fountain if ever I've seen one. Oh, yeah, I haven't used my crush bow enough. Am I gonna go, like, right into a boss fight? Wow, look at this place. Or is this gonna be, like, a super, like, crazy hard level? Holy shit. This area is massive. Oh man. Okay, so there's enemies that way. That doesn't open. is fucking huge. I 
Yep. I see you, girls. Working with the uh, mages as well. Like, it's not ragdolling, but the way that they go, like, fucking flying is pretty funny. I'll be honest, not every game needs ragdolls, but you know what? Sometimes it helps. Alright. Anybody else? Cool. Yeah, another really good sound. Whoa, the, the ceiling's made out of water. The roof is. Cool. Unless this is glass. Nope, you can drop through. Well, I would have liked to have found that out a little cleaner, but... Amber glyphs etched into the empty pedestal. Not going. This looks like such a place to go. Do I need to drain the rest of the water? Okay, I'll just Google it. All right, so I missed this thing because I avoided the middle of the room because of all the goodies. There's this figure, an air figurine. Oh, and a thing. Cool. So, I feel like the water room is, like, such a gimme, right? Like, it's so evident that there's, like, shit going on in there. Oh. Hello, what's this? We Okay, we got a full-on not responding. We've got water and a lot of air in here. And I picked up a figure of air. Whoops. Is this gonna be like a green glyphs into the side of the empty pass? Whoops. Cause this looks like a uh like an Indiana Jones 3 thing. Okay, maybe I'll look up a little more directly. Okay, yeah. I was correct in that the water room looks like to be the most interesting and relevant thing to me. And that's because it is. I just missed that thing over there, see? So I just gotta swim up fast as I possibly can. Cool. Pardon me, I need to hit you with my lesser weapons. Now this reminds me of an area in Dark Souls. Oh, it's gross little head exploded. That was pretty gnarly. Wee! Fun little ice slide. Grody. So it looks like this thing is pretty strong. Yeah, it's... Is it piercing enemies? Because it normally takes two to kill. God damn. Down bad. Um, it takes till to, uh, two to kill, but I feel like I shot like three into that group and it killed them. So maybe it's just like, you know, if you shoot it into a group, it'll really clear them out. Which makes sense as to how the Lancers were able to like fight armies. A water figurine. Yeah, there you go. Like if you could, um, 
I'm not past the part where I'm red, by the way. I passed it a little bit ago. Um. Okay, am I going to be able to get out of here from... Oh, yeah, that's why they put that there. Cool. So maybe this will allow me to pass through here? No. But anyway, so like, if this thing pierces enemies, then of course Lancers would be able to fight. Show enough. That's how Lancers are able to fight armies. Because like, you get one girl with this gun... And then she has, like, a shield. And, like, nobody can survive long enough to, like... <laughs> it's lagging the game out. Z-Doom can't handle it. Come on, we're not playing Nuts Wad here or anything. Nuts Wad was actually the first video I ever recorded for my channel. See, I want to get, like, my rip and tear going, but, like, this gun requires a little more precision than that. <laughs> but I can get through it. I can get through these guys pretty well with it. Hey, fuck you guys. The heads. <laughs> Trying to play a little ammo conservative right now. I know that's not exactly the name of the game here, but... Well, let's find out where I'm going. Found the problem. It's that I just missed this. Because it just looks like wall. Like, maybe there was a guy standing up here. But then, yeah, we have another quake portal. And that takes us to here? Oh. Well, I just came back here the acoustic way anyway. So what's the deal? All right, sorry for pausing it so much, but I, uh, apparently I'm just supposed to head back into the east wing. But yeah, I'm a little, like, as mentioned, I'm a tad directionally challenged, and so, like, a lot of, like, non-linear level design uh, is bad for me. My brain don't accept it. Um, and, like, you know, that's a personal fault of mine, I would say. Something I should learn to get over, but in the meantime, while I'm still Let's Playing stuff, I... So that's the water. I don't know why, but... Ah, it's cooling these. Cool. Push the light. Radical. Oh boy. Platforming. Timed platforming. You gotta do me like that, dude. Oh boy. Oh man. Boy. Alright. I'm very impressed by your fire, but I just read ahead and apparently the easiest thing to do is just go the other way. But yeah, like, with a game that I don't know well, sometimes it's kind of in like, if not my best interest, then the best interest of the video to like, have a walkthrough ready and keep referring to it. Damn. Um, oh, the poison fart gas is gone. The noxious odors.
Uh, sorry, I got quiet there for a second. Um, I feel like it's in, like, my best interest to, like... Bear in mind that I have to make this into a video and I need to keep it concise. And, like, sometimes I would even use a walkthrough on my own time just because, like... Damn, that was stupid. Anyone else? And being a little wasteful, but I know that I got a whole bunch of this waiting for me back at base. So I can afford to be a little Lagrante with this stuff, huh? Earth figurine. So that probably goes on, like, the water. No, wait. Fire would go on water, and this would go on... Earth goes over the void and fills in all the holes. The Earth Fragment. And the Dwarf. Damn it, that was a green crystal. What about you? I feel like they don't actually oop, give me full heal. You know what I mean? Oh, it just leads back to here. Oh, I've saved, so... What's to stop me from... Doing this the simple way, huh? Oh, this is that one area that we saw before. Oh, and the fire figurine, huh? What happened... So this actually isn't a bad way to go, if we're just trying to get all four of these things, right? Can you not? Again. Damn it. Well, that's okay. So, yeah, this is like a valid way to go. I wouldn't have guessed that. When you shoot them with the acid, does it stop them from spawning the uh, orphans? That was... Oh, did they just spawn them? Interesting. my gun out. I just got ammo for this, so I want to use it. God. Everything's moving so fucking fast. So yeah, it looks like they don't drop the guys if you kill them with the uh, acid. I wonder why. Maybe it's because they just take the damage that they would have taken from the acid the second they get born. And don't you hate birthing an infant right into a pile of acid? Okay, so there's a portal here. A portal that would probably drop me back to the surface so I don't have to do the, the fucking jump puzzle to get back, Jojo. All right.
cool. Let's reload everything. Just to ensure we don't leave anything behind here. Okay, I'm starting to see it. It was just that one area that, like, I totally, completely missed. That that annoyed me a little bit, so I was like, okay, let me just read where I'm supposed to go. I know that that's, like, super lame, but, like, in a little package, you know? Hungry. We got doggos. Trying to do my old Team Fortress 2 standby and shoot the floor next to the next to the guys so that the splash damage can hit them. Even though direct hitting is valid. Just a little more fun into the spirit of things, you know? If you don't, I mean. Direct hit. In Team Fortress 2. Okay. Ah, oh, the, the worms broke all my stained glass. How dare you guys. Oh, and I can... Yeah, they're the same, like, color of purple, indicating that maybe they share a lot of similarities. Smart. And they didn't even all come through. Anyone else? I like how there's just a little grass here. There's no reason for it to be here. Unless they, like, built it into the living rock. Oh, green crystals. Cool. I mean, maybe they did build it into the living rock. Oh, boy. They're planting eggs in my nice temple. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I'm gonna end the episode after this fight. Recall that I am still a little... Like, I haven't, like, fully read the guide. I haven't fully f spoiled myself, so I don't know exactly what's coming up. But, like, I feel like this is maybe the halfway part of the, of the uh, level. And then after that, we're definitely going to have a uh, final boss fight, right? Like, what self-respecting game wouldn't give me one? Especially after having a, a, a boss fight midway, like the one that we had. I think that's everyone, though. Cool. But I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Ride. I've been enjoying. I hope you have, too. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Everyone have a good day. Thank you.